Hey guys, welcome back to another crypto video. And today, we're going to be talking about Cardano ADA. Now, before we actually get into the video, make sure you guys check out the Discord right now. It's a cool chat room type of place, and I'm in it, and tons of other people are. So make sure you just join it right now and come say hi. The first few people to say hi in here actually have something really special for. So make sure you guys check it out and send me a personal message. And uh, I'll get back to you guys on that. But also, before we get into it, make sure you understand that this is by no means financial advice. Everything said in this video is purely for entertainment purposes only. Now, the first thing we really quickly need to watch is a little bit of a video here from Charles Hoskinson, which is actually a personal invite. It only costs 20 seconds, though. Let's quickly watch it. 9th to 11th. Hi, this is Charles Hoskinson. I'll be attending May 9th to 11th, the Frontier FinTech Summit in Ulan Bader. Uh, Mongolia. It's going to be a great event. Uh, a lot of people from the country are coming. A lot of uh, wonderful officials are coming. There's going to be a hackathon there. Uh, and I'd love for everybody to come and visit and uh, spend some time with us. So I can't wait to see you May 9th to 11th for the summit. Uh, and thanks so much for listening. So yeah, actually what is kind of cool about this is that it's not a Cardano specific summit, it's actually the Frontier Fintech Summit in Mongolia, but still he's inviting us all and he's most likely going to be talking about some cool things over there, and I'm pretty excited to see what they have to bring for us at this summit. Personally not going to attend, but if any of you guys are, make sure you let us know in the comment section down below, because I think it would be pretty cool to have some inside information of this summit. Maybe it's going to get live streamed. Maybe they're going to give a recap afterwards. I don't know. But just to be sure, make sure you write it down below if you're going to that summit so we can ask you some questions possibly. Or maybe you can just you know, let us know in the comment section down below because it would be cool. Now, the first article of today is actually a kind of interesting one. <clears throat> and I'll tell you guys about why. Cardano price prediction. Cardano can deliver a bullish trend with new partnerships. And the reason I actually found this quite interesting was because... Out of all crypto, if we're thinking about XRP, Stellar, VeChain, Cardano is actually the only one that does not really have groundbreaking partnerships or that does not have behemoths as partners or that's not really even focused on, on getting that or doing that. I find it kind of interesting how they chose a title um, regarding partnerships then without them really having any major partnerships that I know of. And I surely shall do know quite um, a thing about Cardano right now because I've been looking it up every single day for the last couple of months so <laughs> I, I can't find my way around the coin quite a bit and one of the main things they mention here is the ledger nano s i mean it, it's something cool but it's not that special right we're not talking about sbi or like apple or amazon or any crazy thing like that we're just talking about a ledger or hardware wallet integration that's that's not the biggest thing in the world and i definitely don't think those quote unquote, new partnerships that nobody knows about yet can actually spark a bullish trend. Now, what could spark a bullish trend still, of course, is Shelly on the one hand, because the decentralization phase and the staking is definitely a big thing that could be pumping the price up in the short term, long term, anything like that. Um, really, the philosophical approach dead on its own can actually spark up the price because people are expecting the price to rise um, over the longer time frame. That's two things already. And third is most likely either the roadmap or Charles Hoskinson coming out at one of these summits with some new information. Things like that definitely could also keep spiking up the, um, the value of Cardano. Again, we don't really know how much it's going to be, but there's definitely some room for growth and there's definitely a chance. Now, I actually on the side here see another article on Cardano. Let's quickly see what that one is about. Cardano factors... Oh, Cardano. Factors providing stability to crypto are also responsible for its limited growth, okay? Again, this article I'm already noticing here is following the exact trend that this website usually um, has of not really giving you any information whatsoever, but just adding a big-ass chart and then some price information, not even analysis, I would say, just some plain Jane information and another price prediction focused on different price predictions from before. Not really giving any concrete price here, though, just saying here that Cardano will see a bullish trend in the long term and has the potential to jump to the top five. But I definitely think it will jump into the top five at some time. I think it's a top five potential coin. Also, I still believe that Cardano will be the first coin to hit a trillion dollar market cap. It might be a crazy thing to predict, but I, I still think it's going to be coming, guys. Now, 
Here is a little bit more about Shelly, but I, I don't think this article actually has anything new for us whatsoever, so we're just gonna be skipping out on that one. It does talk about decentralization a little bit about Shelly, but... Cardano ADA price set to surge after establishing a bottom. When should you buy Cardano? Now, if you've actually watched the, 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 the performance of Cardano in the market, I don't have any of the articles open that actually talk about Cardano performance, but if you actually had that open for any time whatsoever in the last week or so, you could definitely be seeing that we're forming in some type of channel towards the downside, and it could definitely be a good point to sell your Cardano right now to buy back um, really a little bit later. Here they're actually stating that it's about to surge after hitting a bottom, and it is possible, right? For the first time ever, I actually do think that this title of Smartarium has a little bit of sense in it. Now, I don't, again, have any of the articles open anymore. Um, we were actually discussing it in one of my, I don't want to say TA groups, one of my groups, sort of, in, in real. And we were discussing what the Cardano price was most likely going to do. And the conclusion was that it's most likely going to be falling. Now, don't take this as FUD or, or as you know, anything really negative. It's actually just a trader um, tip. And again, it's not financial advice, entertainment purposes. I cannot give you guys any financial advice there, but... Um, I still think it's going to be falling, and I'm just going to yeah, follow my strategy and trade it. But as an investor, I would say just don't don't worry too much about it. Just keep holding on because the longer term, Cardano is still my number one, most likely, uh, most likely still my number one coin for long-term growth and long-term potential. But in terms of trading on the shorter term, just looking at the price fluctuations, I still have my take profit on a downward point. So um, I still think it's going to be falling, but... You know, maybe I'm wrong. Let's hope I'm wrong so you guys can actually see the surge. All in all, in the shorter term, it does not really matter that much, though, since all these short-term price fluctuations are all, like, look how, how little they can make a difference if the coin ever goes to, like, $5, let's say, right? It doesn't matter for shit in that long of a time frame. So that's why I just keep on telling you guys, like, don't worry too much about the price. It's all fine. These are all just little teeny... Um, bits like 4%, 5%, 10%, 3%, 3%, it all doesn't really matter if you're going in for longer term for the thousands of percents that you're going for. Cardano ADA up by 4% against the US dollar may test the resistance at 14 cents if the bulls continue to prevail. This is actually a little bit over positive because I don't really see this coin moving up to um, to 14 uh, cents. I mean, right, you know, 4% on the daily, okay, that's cool, but a little bit too positive, right? And and that's another thing that I just quickly wanted to mention again, that the reason I have a lot of these articles open, because this is from April 30th, so you might be saying like, oh, okay, you know, um, why do you open it only now? Or why are you talking about it now? It's already so old. It's five days, all right? That's one. So it's five or even maybe almost six days. That's cool. But they might have tested resistance at 14 cents. They might have, right? Even though it's right now at 6.75 cents. So not even not even at half the price, did it really, really matter? Now, that's just something to take a look at for yourself. Just sometimes look in hindsight, like, do these articles actually have any sense? Or does it seem logical? Or does it really look like it's going to happen? And then in hindsight, you can check back, like, was this article talking pure BS? Or, or did they have any sense? And that's what I tried to teach you guys as well. Not to just blindly listen to information only and just go on with your day, but also try to teach you guys a little bit at what articles to to take a look at what articles to take seriously but most articles i filter out that i just don't show you guys because they're useless or they contain false information or things like that but sometimes i just try to keep them into to let you guys know as well as, as to what i look into at an article or or what you should watch out for to, to give you guys a wrong mindset or wrong expectation because these articles can really hurt you in the longer run or, or really hurt your enthusiasm or motivation things like that now, another article that was actually pretty cool was Charles Hoskinson says there's over 50 full-time engineers working on Cardano. This is actually a tweet from way before already. I think he has mentioned this uh, quite a few times, but we're going to quickly read through all of these quotes, which are actually quite interesting. So he said, generally speaking, wait, let's, let's see actually what the title is. Cardano project involves time-consuming research and D, so research and development. Generally speaking, when this happens in industry, what happens is that the R&D phase concludes before it's consumerized or productized. Uh, productized. So you guys see the end result of projects that get in turn, wait, that get turned into uh, work in products. And what they're talking about here is actually releasing something before it is really finished. That's just really kind of what they're 
they're talking about here. Like, you just get a half-assed thing. That's not really what they're going for. Missed deadlines doesn't mean people are incompetent or doesn't also mean that they are doing this to do a money grab and things like that. So a lot of people are commenting down below. There are many buildings in London. When people decided to build a skyscraper somewhere, when they start digging, they discover corpses, among other things. Uh, he continued, they had to bring in people to study them and assess how old the fossils and other buried items were. Where they're from, what museums do we take them, etc. Because this can be a time-consuming process, it can cause unexpected delays, Hoskinson said. So, really what he's saying here is like, alright, they're, they're building in London, right? So they want to build a skyscraper, but they, they had the ground, they bought it, but when they start digging for the, the foundation, they noticed there were a lot of corpses there. And you can't just build over the corpses, you gotta... Uh, assess you got to check them out to see where they're from what they were maybe they're from you know 50 million years ago I think just as an example really really strange example i know but as an example really old and they want to check it they want to check everything out um and you can't just like throw it away in the garbage bin or just give it to them they gotta maybe check the ground as well and same with cardano here the phases, all right, they're phases for a reason. They just transition into the next one every time they're ready for it. But if they're not ready, then don't rush them because they're doing it for a reason. It hurts them way more than it hurts us with these delays. And missing a deadline is most likely because there's something still wrong and they just have an unexpected delay like we saw with this uh, digging up corpses as an example. He further said... The analytics number theory dropout from the University of Colorado, <clears throat> Boulder, stated that his team of research released Shelley's formal specifications sometime back. At that point, Hoskinson claimed, The protocol was pretty solid, and we were really not planning on making any many changes. The specifications were the result of researchers spending many months studying these things, building prototypes for these things, and designing proofs of concepts for these things. Cardano Project has more than 50 full-time engineers. Hoskinson again emphasized that Cardano Project developers have always been very transparent, which I really enjoy about them, about how they've been conducting their research <clears throat> and how they're approaching the ongoing development of the smart contract platform. He remarked, If you go to Cardano's project's GitHub repositories, as many of you have already done before, we have actually done so a few months ago in one of the live streams and videos as well, you can see the code being committed on a daily basis. As for the question of how large the engineering team actually is, well, we have more than 50 full-time engineers, and this can actually be verified from the GitHub repositories, where you can see how many people are um, committing. So, there are no Cardano developers working on Atala, is actually one uh, quote and one thing we see a lot. But moreover, Hoskinson pointed out that the Cardano project was ranked first for the number of GitHub commits sometime back. This was actually kind of a news shock. A lot of people were really happy with this. Uh, it is true. And he also clarified that Atala is an enterprise-grade blockchain framework written in Scala, and the Cardano protocol has been written in Rust and the Haskell programming language. Hoskinson further mentioned that there are no Cardano developers currently working on Atala. He explained that Atala and Cardano are completely separate projects. In terms of their code base and engineering acumen, interestingly, and Charles Hoskinson revealed that the colleagues have been moving people from Atala to the Cardano project because of the need. And there's a lot more things to be said in here, but that's actually the most important stuff for today. This is, again, another article that's just really amazing for if you just want to get updated about what's going on or you, you've lost some faith, you could just check again to put some sense back into your head as to why you hold Cardano, guys, because you know, this is amazing. I also bought some more Cardano, like, a few days ago and then sold it. Now I've been hard on the selling I don't know how to make a title for these types of videos, though, because I'm not buying Cardano. I'm literally shorting it and selling it. But, yeah, you know, in the longer term, I still have a lot of Cardano. This is actually just a short-term transaction, guys. So don't think I just sold all my ADA. Um, I actually still hold ADA. I, interesting, I know. But it's because it's so separate in a separate place. I can't be bothered to go ahead and grab the ADA and sell it specifically. I'm just actually doing a short action on uh, Cardano. Um, even though I could also be selling my personal ADA. It's just not needed. I still work with percentages, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I actually still hold Cardano. It's actually, again, it's a really interesting theory, but hopefully you guys understand it still. Cardano founder to develop new cryptocurrency in collab with the Ethiopian government. Again, we're talking about Atala and some other smaller things here, but are you guys not familiar yet with 
what's happening with Ethiopia and Cardano, then maybe check out my last four videos or so. We've discussed this multiple, multiple times. I still sometimes in the comment section see people um, asking questions about it, though, but I've literally given you guys every single thing that I know. Literally everything. So if you're missing out on something, just check back through the videos and educate yourself. Cardano ate a price prediction currently holding and is just, again, from another website just, just giving you guys zero information whatsoever it's actually just kind of fetched from this website here i think they have the same style same type of type of stuff maybe they just made this website for the the fun of it just trying to copy some other articles because the quality here is 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 ridiculously low and it, it doesn't give you anything any food for thought nothing the analysis of two years has shown that the value can rise to five dollars and at maximum like fifty dollars right if and also, if the coin maintains its value for some time, it'll reach $50. No no backing for this whatsoever. Really useless. Talking about the Aeon and Ledger Nano S partnership. So they're really just quoting um, one of these articles, like this one right here. Yeah, really useless. But the rest was actually kind of cool. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this Cardano crypto video. If you did, though, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you check out the Discord right now. Also, check out like the Telegram and the links I'm opening up right now. So follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's both the DustyBC. Just make sure you follow me on there. Here you can see the DustyBC and here as well, the DustyBC. Go ahead and follow me. You also have free Bitcoin, which is a place to grab some free Bitcoin. Make sure you check that out. And we have Ledger.com, which is a place to grab yourself a hardware wallet. It's not free, but um, it actually does not cost that much. And it is for your security. So make sure you buy that. It's worth it, guys. So make sure you check it out. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Enjoy your day, everybody.